I think the funniest thing is to see how religious students get right before an exam. You know what I'm <laughs> like you could walk into this huge accounting exam and you walk in and you see students of all religions praying to their respective gods. There's the Christian guy there and maybe he's Catholic so he's praying to the Holy Trinity and there's the Muslim guy next to him and he's reciting verses from the Quran and everyone around him is getting visibly nervous. <laughs> <laughs> The Christian guy kind of squeezes his chair. <laughs> There's the Hindu guy, and the Hindu guy's taking a really long time to pray because he has to hit like each god. <laughs> he can't leave any out. He has to worry about the next life. And then, and then there's the Jewish guy, and the Jewish guy's praying, but he's gonna be okay, right? It's an accounting exam. <laughs> You don't, you don't really need me here. I need to clarify that joke. That's not because he's Jewish. It's because he studied a lot tonight. <laughs> if Abraham were to see all those students praying, he'd be like, yes, yes. This is exactly what I wanted. What's that brown kid doing? <laughs> no, no, no. Not the one praying. Oh, he's good. The other one? Did he just say gods? I thought we agreed on one. Did I miss him something? <laughs> And I know that technically Hinduism is monotheistic, but if I acknowledge that, then the joke doesn't work, so sorry. <laughs> Abraham was probably a really stubborn guy if you think about it, you know? There's a group of people praying, and he's like, what's up guys, it's enough revelation! And they're like, oh, is this is guy again. Abraham's like, just found out, God, say something. Uh, you can only have one God. They're like, are you kidding me, Abraham? We have a thousand gods. We pray to a thousand. How are we going to pick one god? And he's like, you want to go to heaven or what? I don't make the rules, man. <laughs> like, Abraham, let's make a deal, okay? Can we just have ten? Just give us ten of the thousand gods and don't tell him. Abraham's like, God! <laughs> They're trying to haggle. <laughs> Jesus was a very humble man. We know that, right? Because if, if I had Christ's capabilities and powers, I'd be so arrogant with them. Someone would come up to me and be like, you know we're going to crucify you, right? Oh, really? <laughs> well, do you have any idea who my father is? <laughs> Literally the most powerful thing you've ever seen. Dad, did you hear that? Did you want to smite him? You want, you want me to smite him? You want me to smite you? And he's like, oh, oh relax. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Adam's a good one. Adam probably succumbed to peer pressure too easily, you know? Because out there in the Garden of Eden, Eve's like, Adam, take a bite of the apple, man. <laughs> Adam's like, no, Eve, no, God said no. Eve's like, everyone else in paradise is doing it except for you. <laughs> Adam's like, we're the only two up here. <laughs> and then Eve's like, just this one time, man. Adam's like, fine, but after this, I'm never eating apples again. Then like a week later, he's sneaking out bushels, and he's just like, ah. <laughs> He's like, Adam, what are you doing? And he's like, tomorrow, I swear, tomorrow I'm gonna stop eating apples, I promise. <laughs> Noah had OCD. I, we know that, yeah, it's a fact. So look, look in the Bible, it's there. <laughs> because when he knew that God was gonna send the flood to destroy like all life on Earth, which, side note, what about marine life? <laughs> It's just a detail that he missed. Marine life is going to be okay in the flood. Right? There's a couple of fish, and he's like, dude, did you hear what God said? He's like, what? He's going to destroy all life. With what? The flood. <laughs> and they look at each other, and they're like, ha, 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 Blub, blub, blub. Now, another side note, how did they decide which two animals are going to get on the ark? Like, was no one like, Jeff, come in here and talk to you. The giraffes are like. <laughs> and I was like, I gotta pick two of you guys. And there's like two best friends in the front. They're like. And then one of them's like, yeah, we will do it. No, if the rest of the herd's cool with that, you guys are cool with that, right? We'll take it. No, I don't see though, because, because when he found out that the, the flood was gonna come to destroy all life, he wasn't like, holy crap, okay, everybody, get in the ark, get in the ark, get in the ark, get in the ark. He was like, I need two. <laughs> two of each animal. One boy, one girl. They must be the exact same height. They must stand in single file line, alphabetical order. He's like, bears, 
check, you can get in the bears. Giraffes, looking good, nice necks, looking tall. Give me the <laughs> penguins? Are you freaking kidding me, penguins? Animals, look what the penguins did. There are three penguins here when I specifically said two. Everybody in the yard, get back out. Sorry, we gotta do this. <laughs> we gotta do this all over again because the penguins messed it up. Penguins, you screw this up one more time, I'm not letting you get on the yard. I did it to the unicorns and I'll do it to you. <laughs>